Yeah, stuff's going pretty good. I'm trying to get a payday loan, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I've got some work, or a potential work, writing some songs for this 40-year-old lady who is trying to get into the music industry. And she just wants some like, pretty simple like pop tunes. And I think I can do it, I can some pretty good stuff. Oh my god, I don't have this shirt yet. Oh my god, I gotta get this. Oh my god, that is such a good picture. And he even signed it. How much is it? $23, that's such a good deal. Come on, hurry up. Gotta get another picture for my Matthew Perry um, wall shrine. Come on. It's big. It's taken a while because it's pretty high quality, but I mean, that's the only way I could let it be for a picture of Matthew Perry, obviously. Here it comes. It's almost done now. Come on. Come on. All I can do to keep from yanking it out of the printer. <laughs> oh! Yeah, so Matt thinks that my Matthew Perry obsession is not healthy, but I mean, I think it is. Like, I mean, most people don't really realize how cool Matthew Perry actually is. Like, I mean, he was actually born in Canada, and I mean, even like, his dad was like the guy from the old Spice commercials. Um, he was in Friends, too. Like, he like brings a tear to my eye when I see him, like... He is an amazing actor. Oh my god. <laughs> if I met Matthew Perry, <laughs> I, I don't know what would happen. I would just like freak out. I mean, don't even talk about that right now. Um, I just found out that Brenda spent $70 on eBay for some Matthew Perry. I don't know, a t-shirt or something, an autograph, a photo or something. I'm really trying to get this payday loan and I don't know what to do. This could, this could be it. So, yeah, it's true. I spent maybe a little too much money on Matthew Perry um, paraphernalia. It was actually a handbag near set with Matthew Perry pictures on it. It was really cool. Um, I don't know, Matt thinks, you know, that I shouldn't spend all my money on Matthew Perry things, but I mean, I don't know, I think we can afford it right now. I mean, Matt's about to get a payday loan, so I don't know, I'm not really worried right now about money. Yeah, this is Matt Carlson. Um, I had a, a claim in on a payday loan, and I was wondering if that has gone through yet. 
Oh, uh, just make sure to, you know, let me know as soon as you know, one way or the other. I'm, I really, you know, I just want to know, so. I got it. What? I got the payday loan. Oh my god, baby, we're gonna be rich. rich. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. I got I got this payday loan, right? And they're gonna give me five hundred dollars. Oh payday god. loan. Yeah. Do you know what payday loans are? Well, the, they give you five hundred dollars. Because you need to have a payday. If you have a payday, then you give them the check when you get paid, but you job with a paycheck to pay back the payday loan. Well, but it's payday. That's when you get the loan, that's payday. But they want your payday to be paying them back for the loan they gave you. You're supposed to have a payday after this payday. You mean payday like next loan. month you could get another payday from them again? Yeah, I mean they... I can get, and that could pay back the other one? Yeah, I could get a, another payday loan and give that to the first guy. We can, you can keep getting payday loans. Like, they will let you yeah. get one. Yeah, I they, mean, if you got it this time, like... And there's a lot of companies, you know? There's like a payday loan in every block of Highway 89. Like, you can keep going to payday loans and then you're like set. Yeah. Then you never have to have a payday to pay back the yeah. payday loan? I just think that seems really not responsible. If you don't actually have a payday, you really can't ever pay it back, and you'll continually amass interest, but you have can you, never pay it back. But have you been to the payday loan website? No. It says $500 free. That's free. True. Find proof where there's an asterisk that says, that. you got to pay us back, though. No. They can do that. But it's isn't that what... I did a lot of research. But, so you think, so this isn't really a loan, this is a, a grant of money? Why do they call it payday grant? No, it's like a payday. Like they, it's, it's like it's payday. But it's not their payday. Their no, payday is when you pay them that's back. Why. Then how do they to payday to payday well, loan place? I don't know. I and they like true. fell on a, on top of them like yeah. a house of cards. I think yeah. that's not true. Actually, I don't think you really know what you're talking about. Well, that's what I was going to say to you. Well, Just, hmm. I think I can go. I think you need more Bye. information. No. You want a piece of pie now? I guess she just didn't have the same pull that I did. Nobody really cared about Cassandra leaving. Everybody has selfish intentions. Everybody in this house does not have a good spirit. Everybody does not give off good vibes and energy. And everybody is not as caring and as nice as they want to make it seem. But despite one thing they did, the love still had to face another elimination. And it was Sarah's shaky performance that caught the eye of the judges. And it was really shook. It looks like you're in pain. I think poison is the operative word here. That's